50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Hi guys, welcome to another Fly Deck 2 Sim tutorial. Today I'm going to show you the landing technique for the 737-800 using the PMTG NGX. The method I'm going to show you is exactly what I applied in that video you just saw there uh, uh, to make a safe and stable landing in a 737-800. And it's exactly the method we use to teach our cadets during the tight rating. So, we're currently holding at Bombo, which is a waypoint just north of Luton. I'm all ready for the approach into Luton for the ILS. Uh, just want to talk you uh, through the technique we use when coming into land uh, manually. All right. So the first thing to note that a successful and safe landing is from a safe and successful approach. So you need to be fully stabilised by these things. You might have heard me talking about in my other tutorials called landing gates. So for example, today using live weather in Luton, the landing gate is 500 feet. So to be stabilised at the landing gate, we need to be on approach criteria. So one dot on the localizer, uh, one dot high or low on the glide path, we need to be uh, approach speed of VREF to VREF plus 15, we also need to have a maximum rate of descent of 1000 feet per minute. Now, if you do not meet uh, any of those criteria you can see listed there, we cannot continue the approach and we have to fly a go around. So as long as you make that criteria, you can pretty much uh, have a good shot of safe and successful landing. Now the method we use uh, when we're coming into land landing manually is something called check, close, hold. Uh, and this landing technique works like this. When we get over the threshold, uh, we should be at approximately 50 feet for a three degree glide path. And essentially when we pass 40 feet and 30 feet, we don't do anything except we look at the end of the runway. Uh, we shift our visual aiming point to the end of the runway. Uh, and then at 20 feet, we initiate this check. Uh, now this check basically means we want to slow the rate of descent by initiating the flare. And all we do uh, initially is increase your pitch attitude by approximately two to three degrees and that's called check. Uh, soon after we've checked we want to close the thrust levers and we do that by smoothly uh, reducing thrust and the idea is that when we touch down using the main wheels the thrust lever is closed so we want to check, close uh, and now on the 737-800 uh, with the underslung engines uh, they have a, a huge what we call pitch to thrust couple so when you reduce thrust on this aircraft, the nose wants to drop. And when you add thrust, the nose wants to go up. So when we do the check and then we close the thrust levers, we have to then hold the attitude. Now by holding the attitude, uh, we just essentially don't want the nose to drop uh, to make a firm landing. We also though don't want to increase the nose attitude uh, to try and get what, what a lot of people seem to call a greaser. Uh, so a greeter, although very satisfying, it's not ideal if you want to be going for that sort of landing on a very short runway because all you're doing is using up usable runway, especially if you're landing somewhere with like a very short runway, that's not ideal at all. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use the check, close, hold technique on this approach into the Luton and I'll talk you through what I'm doing. It's going to happen quite quickly and that's the technique used every single day by 737-800 pilots all around the world. Alright guys, so we're just turning base for this approach into Luton now. Uh, we'll imagine that we've been cleared to land already, so I'll just pop those lights on. And I'll try and talk you through during the landing flare, that check, close, hold technique. It does happen very quickly here. Uh, so just got the speed brake out, stow that now as we are approaching our base turn, matching the heading. So this is very typical for an approach. Uh, you can see Luton there to the left hand side. If it's absolutely clear like this so we can usually request a visual approach and then we can use LNAV and VNAV which I'm uh, doing now but you can see more information about that on my visual approach tutorial which you can find at the approach playlist. Uh, so here's the ILS coming in uh, nicely we're descending to 2,000 feet hopefully by the time we turn on final uh, we'll be on the approach so I can arm the approach now in preparation for that and I'll shortly configure gear down flat 15 as soon as we turn final flying over Luton, there you can see the airport clearly. As I said earlier, we are using live weather. It's uh, unusually warm in the UK at the moment. Uh, I think it's about 24 degrees down there today, so very nice indeed. So we're all looking good. This is a very nice, typical uh, speed to uh, fly uh, on base. So there's Warlock Glide Slope Capture. We can match the runway heading to 076. And the missed approach altitude we can now set, which is 3,000 feet. That is now set. 
Good, so now we're at about five miles turning base, so we can go gear down flap 15. Landing checklist to flaps, match the speed. So, start switch is continuous, recall is check, speed brake, arm green lights, landing gear is down three green, order brake is three. Uh, we're going to use flat 30 today, you'd actually probably use flat 30 in Luton, uh, but it makes a lot more sense just to do 30 because it's easier. Alright, so now we're on final, we'll talk about that landing gate. We are fully stabilised at this moment in time, uh, and we'd have to be in this configuration now uh, to be at 500 feet. Uh, fully stabilised, we're on the localizer, on the glide path at an appropriate speed. Now, here you can see on this table is the uh, pitch and thrust settings, for, uh, the landing flap, flat 30 in this case. So gear down, your percentage M1 for a 3 degree glide slope for flat 30, uh, 60 ton aircraft, which is approximately what we are, is 1 degree and 57%. Now you can see here, if we bring up the PFD, we've got that, it's approximately about 2 degrees today, and about the thrust, about, was well, a bit low today, I think that's more the PMDG setting. Uh, we haven't got much of a head, uh, headwind, but typically you'd expect about 57% N1 uh, to maintain your approach speed, which we are at the moment. Alright, so uh, we're just coming over the 500 foot point there, uh, so just finished the landing checklist, so we've got flaps, we confirmed we've got 30 green light and the landing lights are on, we've been clear to land, alright. So now I'm going to disconnect the autopilot and auto throttle, uh, which I've done now. And we're just going to do this check close hold technique, which I'll talk you through what I'm doing using my joystick. It's actually a lot harder um, using flight simulator than in real life, funny plus enough. Uh, that's fine. All right, plus 100s check. Just checking the thrust there. Three reds, don't want to get too low. Land, we'd say at minimums as it approach lights there. Coming over the threshold, when you're in the real aircraft, you want to be looking uh, initially at the aiming point of being the pappies. At 50 feet, so we're going to look at the end of the runway. Check, close the thrust levers, holding that attitude, don't let the nose drop or rise, floating a little bit, there we go, touchdown, so speed brake up, select reverses, let's go to second e tents. 100 knots, 80 knots, and 60 knots, cancelling reverse, cancelling the order brake. So you can see there, it happened so quickly, uh, but that's exactly what I did there. I checked at 20 feet, I smoothly closed the thrust levers, and then I just held that attitude. We don't want the nose to drop, and we don't want the nose to continue to rise. And you can see there, uh, we floated a little bit, it's not such a problem there. So if that's the case, you just want to basically don't do anything to the controls, just hold the attitude, because as we've got the thrust closed, the speed will reduce, and then you'll find the aircraft will nicely sit down. Uh, with the main wheels within the touchdown zone. That's essentially the technique we do every single day. Alrighty, so I'll just bring it to a stop there and set the parking brake. So that was quite a quick tutorial, just covering the landing te uh, technique. I hope you found that interesting and learned something new. As ever, if you have any questions, if you want me to explain something in more detail, feel free to leave that in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you have any other tutorials you'd like me to do, feel free to send me a message, and I'll see you again very soon for another Flight Deck 2 Sim tutorial. Take care, and bye-bye.